The next one's a five-year-old thoroughbred that again has had quite a few starts and it's the second start of this preparation. Um, it's got a two out of five, left forelimb lameness following fast work, some pain on knee flexions, radiographs showed some C3 lysis, um, which I'll show you in a sec. Here's the oblique views and there's a little bit of modeling on the dorsal aspect of the radial carpal bone, but not much else to see there. A number of skylines were taken because there were these suspicious areas of lysis, um, small areas of lysis in the, both the radial facet and the intermediate facet of the third carpal bone. Um, and so we've CT'd it. And here in the left fore, we can see we've got a lot of sclerosis in the radial facet and then near the articular surface of the mid carpal joint, we've got these areas which we can very easily delineate on CT of focal resorption. But we couldn't see these other ones over here on the intermediate facet until we went down into the carpometacarpal joint distally on the third carpal bone. And here you can see sclerosis, focal lysis here uh, in the subchondral bone as we get very close to the um, carpometacarpal joint. So from the um, x-rays, we're a bit suspicious that something's going on there, but we don't know where it is. And with C2, we can um, be much better at working out exactly where it is. Here's the uh, sagittal view showing some radiocarpal lysis and the areas in the third carpal bone that are lytic. Um, same here on the medial aspect multiple areas of lysis surrounding by sclerosis. And here's our area in the carpometacarpal joint over here, um, which if you'd done arthroscopy, you would have been looking for that and poking around trying to find it up here, but it's actually sitting down here. Uh, so we know that from the CT. Um, here's the area here again, X-ray, I struggled to actually see it on an X-ray and try and identify it. Um, because of the complexity of the joint. And that's the beauty of CT and these complex joints that are hard to assess radiographically. Um, we're able to see a lot more interestingly in its contralateral limb, it's got a subchondral cystic lesion in its um, radial carpal bone as well, which we couldn't see on x-ray.